What up, friends? Just got out of a very lovely hot shower. Um, and I got done with my workout, which is so amazing. I'm usually not a morning workout person. I woke up today at 5.40 because of Roman. And I was just like, you know what? We're gonna do it. Like I actually, the way that the timing worked out, um, or my scheduling, I guess, I actually have a um, only to film two YouTube videos this week versus three. And so I just had more time today. And I was like, let's go ahead and just do a workout, see how you feel, whatever. You guys, I feel so good. I'm gonna have to just bite the bullet and just do it and start working out in the morning time because I've talked about it for so long. I've tried a lot in my life to be a morning person. Um, it never works usually. However, um, hold on. I only started incorporating all of the changes to my diet and my lifestyle and my supplements um, just a couple months ago. Like the last couple months have really been the huge transformation. And that's when I started sleeping better. So I am waking up a lot more energized than I used to. I'm getting a lot more sleep than I used to. Um, but I also have only started, I think it was March, was when I got serious about taking my supplements, which give me a boost of energy. So it's like, I just need to do it and stop talking about it. And I have not tried to be a quote unquote morning person um, since I've done the supplements, but I, I just, I need to do it. I need to just bite the bullet. I need to start working out in the morning because I feel so much better throughout the day. It, it just, it makes, it makes a world of difference. So, that's a lot. Um, that's what we're gonna start trying to do. But today, I do have to film one YouTube video. I'm actually just gonna do a full video on my lip filler because I like to be transparent and I feel like there is significantly less number of people on the vlog channel. Um, and I wanna make sure that I share it on the main channel because I want people to know about it and it not seem like I'm hiding something, but also I feel like my main channel is just more informative. It's not these mom vlogs. It doesn't, you know, I will share kid friendly stuff, but I don't talk about my kids as much on there. So it's like, I wanna make sure that I am being informative and sharing the tips and tricks there and things that I've done. And I haven't done that yet about my lip filler. And that's not gonna take me long to film at all. I do also have to film, um, I told y'all in a couple, couple vlogs back, I think. I'm like usually two days behind with vlogs. Um, yeah, cause it was posted today, but today's actually the 10th, but it was June 8th. So I told y'all I've used Lumino for years and years as a whitening like three years because I started using it when I got pregnant with Ezra and I got pregnant with him in July of 2021. Um, so I've been using it for years. They reached out and wanted to partner with me and I'm so excited about it, but I do have to uh, film these stories today to send to them. And so I have to like, I want to look semi put together. They don't care about that. Like they didn't like ask me to be like, look your best, but I do want to, before I hop on stories for a brand, you want to put your best foot forward. And so I don't want them to be like, why is this girl with like a disheveled mess trying to talk about whitening strips? So I'm gonna do my hair now. I gotta finish up my um, Premier protein shake that I drink after work after I get my hair done. Um, and then of course my parents have the boys today. So it is just gonna be a good productive day um, as far as all things house and home go. And I, I'm very energized. Like I have so much energy now because I worked out and it's weird. I need to get it together and make that a regular thing. I was about to leave for the store and realized I did not put deodorant on. It's June in the South. We ain't doing that. We ain't doing that to people. Although I don't particularly smell. You never know. So anyways, one of the things um, I actually was just thinking about is like something no one warned me about whenever I was like about to have a baby. No one told me how much pride I would feel for my kids and watching them do and learn new things. So I felt a double whammy of it this week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hold on, let me get the deodorant. This bathroom is still a mess. The, uh, the trusty dandy secret that I keep on hand. And while we're at it, I guess I will show y'all my outfit. Kind of got a little bit of chaos all over the place. These shorts are like 15 bucks at Walmart. I wish I would have gone a size down. These are a medium. I should have definitely gotten a small. This brand I feel runs a little on the bigger side. Um, 
Hoka's Amazon top. I'll link it. Anyways, back to what I was saying. So Roman has started taking so many more steps. It's still not his primary means of transportation. Like outside, he's not as confident walking. Um, he definitely, I think it will come when he can like stand up on his own. You know what I'm talking about? Like how you can go from sitting to standing on your own. I think that that's when he'll really get it. But he's just taking more steps and it makes me so proud. And then the other one is Ezra. So y'all know we were potty training. And one of the things that I actually, I don't even know if I mentioned this, but my mom had told me prior to us potty training Ezra, she was like, whenever he starts waking up with like, his diapers aren't as wet, specifically during naps. She was like, that's actually what we used to know that you guys were ready to potty train. And I was potty trained really early. My mom potty trained four kids. And I know things may be done differently now than they were, you know, years ago, but that was a pretty good thing. I was like, oh, okay, that's good to know. Well, the book said that you should kind of do it all at once. And that was just not something I was willing to do. <laughs> that's a lot. Um, and it has taken a while to kind of learn the ins and outs of what works for Ezra. Specifically, he does not want anybody in the bathroom when he is peeing or pooping. It's not his fave, especially Roman, because Roman grabs grabs at him. You know, he grabs at his stuff, and I'm like, Roman, please stop grabbing at your brother's stuff. Please stop grabbing while your brother's trying to pee. Like, so Roman can't be in the bathroom. But um, he's just gotten so much better at it, and I didn't want to like do it all at once and have to wake up in the middle of the night to wake my kid up to pee. Like, I just didn't want to do all that. So of course, naturally, he now is. Like he woke up this morning 100% completely dry diaper, not a drop of pee in his overnight. And he sleeps for 12 hours. And he was like doing his little pee dance when we went and got him. And then um, he woke up from his nap, same exact thing. Not a drop of pee in that diaper. And I just was like so proud because it's like, he just out of nowhere, just it like clicked. And he was like, okay, this is what we do. This is, I'm growing up. And it's just like, I am so dang proud of my kids. And no one prepared me for how proud I would be of them just for simply existing. Like I'm just so, so proud of the little cute things that they're learning and doing. Just so cute. I'm that mom I know. I lost my camera. Hold on, gonna go dark. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I was like, oh no, did we leave it in the car? What's going on? All right, we're getting light. We're getting light, camera. Let's go. Um, so I worked out this morning and it was so nice. I'm gonna have to start doing it. Like it's just, it was so nice because I got so much time with Sam this evening that I usually don't get because I work out for an hour to an hour and a half. Um, and it was so relaxing. I got work done. Like we just chilled on the back porch. But I wanted to quickly update you guys before I close out this very boring vlog and tell you that this stuff right here is a godsend, okay? If you are a matte, or okay, if you're an oily girl who needs matte stuff, this is amazing, amazing. And the reason being, so it's the It Cosmetics, they sent me this in PR, I think I showed it in a video. Um, it's the Your Skin But Better CC Color Correcting Full Coverage Serum. So color correcting is always great for people like me who have a lot of redness or just skin issues in general. The only difference between the regular one and this one, I'm not sure if you guys can see. So this one is SPF 50, this one is SPF 40. Whenever I hear the word matte, I always kind of panic a little bit because I find that sometimes those foundations can be so drying that they don't actually work or they don't apply well. This product for matte, oh my God, for oily skin girls is just like this, but it just has a little bit more of a drier formula to it. So it still blends beautifully with no issues. Why do I hear a child talking right now? Um, I mean, it is just, it is so good. So I am so excited and I'm very thankful to Cosmetics for sending me that. I, I always kind of be like, oh, I don't know. And I was so, so, so impressed. So that's pretty much all I've been wearing at this point. And I think apart from that, we're gonna close it out here because like I said, this has been a very boring vlog. I literally forgot my camera. Um, thought I lost it the whole nine. Um, but I don't, I'm not gonna film her, but I'll definitely keep you guys informed. I mentioned the blinds in the last vlog and I wanted to update y'all 
So I am actually having someone from Budget Blinds come out. Blinds are so difficult. Like, let me be clear when I say, throughout my time in residential and commercial design, both of them, I did not meet a single designer that ever would F with blinds. There was not a single designer. They would always go, you need to get a blind person out here. You need to get someone who handles blinds. You need to get a blind specialist because they are so... It's the same with kitchen design. Like I never met a regular designer. There were some that were cocky enough to do it, but when it came to like the legit stuff, they needed a kitchen designer to help them. Kitchens are so meticulous and it is like pieces and puzzles. And if you're off by one like 16th of an inch, it messes everything up and blinds are exactly the same. So I finally was like, you know what? I just need to get someone out here and just talk with her about a quote. And at the end of the day, I feel more confident having a blinds person come out and do it because I mean it when I say not a single designer was comfortable enough to measure blinds and order them herself. They always had someone come out and that should tell you something. So um, anyways, I'm gonna go shower. Um, I'm kind of already nose from being out there, which is super weird. But thank you all so much for watching. I'll let you know on Wednesday. Um, actually, I think the vlog will go up on Friday. That means what lady says, cross your fingers and toes that this quote is reasonable and not thousands worth because that's insane for windows. But see you on the next vlog.